What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. Uh, we got a special treat for you today in today's video. We got Daisy back number one. Number two is we think we know why she's been getting out. She's been getting out here here lately and we had her on the leash. Rachel came home at lunch yesterday, took her off the leash because it's all tangled up and she bolted. She was gone. And we got some stuff on the uh, trail cam that uh, kind of adds up some evidence. So uh, we're going to explain what happened here in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Yeah, we got lots of excitement today, so just like Kevin said, stay tuned. Hey guys, sorry this is rushed. Um, we've got a little bit of an excitement here on the farm. Um, Daisy had got out uh, yesterday, and she's been getting out. But anyway, we've been looking and looking for her. Couldn't find her. Well, we just heard her at the back of the pasture. And she sounded like she had something treed, and then we heard like a commotion, like something fighting. So Kevin grabbed his and took off. So I've grabbed the camera and I'm gonna take off and see what the heck is going on. But I think Daisy is after something for sure. So I'm gonna head out to the back of the pasture and see if I can help Kevin do anything. So I hope Daisy's okay. It sounded like something major. So follow me and we'll go out and see what's going on. You stay in, Skeeter. So, if you've been following the channel, you know that Daisy has been getting out and we've been having a look for her. Well, she got out yesterday. I went, she was tangled up in her line because we had tied her up because she had been getting out. Well, as soon as I let her off of the leash, she took off running and I couldn't catch her. And so we've been looking for her and we just heard her at the back of the pasture going crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can go help Kevin. I don't know what's going on. Um, I hope she's okay because you guys know how important she is to us. So I hope, anyway, it sounded scary. I don't know. But luckily Kevin is trying to See what's going on i don't hear any more commotion so i'm gonna go to the back of the pasture and see if i can help him Whoop. okay sorry guys i'm out of breath i got really excited it looks like he's got daisy on the leash and she likes to be walking okay What happened? What's going on? Is she okay? What? We had a bobcat treed. Oh my god. I don't know if she's got blood on her or if it's from the bobcat. Oh my god. Daisy. I don't see anything. Are you okay? Oh my gosh, look at all the blood. I couldn't shoot it because I was trying to get her and by the time I got the leash on her. Oh my god. I catch my breath. I don't see anything on her. Oh my gosh, you like guys. Cuts. Oh, Daisy. <sighs> Holy cow. You had a Good. bobcat? I don't see any cuts on her, but. Oh my gosh, you better look her over good. You got blood all over you, too. I know. Oh my god. I'm just glad I found her. So that's so, what she's been after the last several days, and she's gotta finally. That'd be why she's getting out. She might have, she's got one scratch on her nose. I don't see any her eyes cuts. are fine. Daisy, my God. What uh, a great girl. You should have heard the noise. Well, I heard a little bit of the commotion. You're a good girl, aren't you? Holy cow. Okay, so this makes sense. Uh, in the last week, we've got two pictures. Oh, yeah. You're a good girl. We've got a couple pictures on our trail cam of a bobcat just right back here behind our house and uh it, it coincides with uh daisy getting out of this pen you know if you guys have been watching the videos we've been having a problem with daisy getting out and uh the last time she got out rachel came home from work yesterday and she has not come back since and she took off when i when i unclipped the leash that she was yeah because we've been keeping her on the leash over here by the barn because she's been jumping out of the fence she took off with a purpose like she took off fast and just took off i didn't see her again 
Well, anyways, uh, she got out and she's been gone since yesterday about what time? One o'clock, one thirty when you got home yeah, from lunch? Yeah, about one thirty. And uh, just a little bit ago, I heard an awful commotion. I heard her barking and going crazy. And I, I knew she was after a coyote or another dog or whatever. Uh, Mojo's still in the yard, so I don't know why he didn't go. But anyways, uh, by the time I get back there, she has a uh, freaking bobcat about 10 feet up in a tree. And, uh, you know, I, my first uh, instinct was to I grab this leash because I had it ready. Because when you grab her, when she's out of this fence, you cannot hardly hold on to her. So I had this leash ready. I grabbed it, grabbed, grabbed this and uh ran back here because i was ready to do whatever i had to do my main goal was just securing her and getting her back in this fence because i've in this pen i've got the fence built where she should not be able to get out now i've got it fixed and uh sorry I'm trying to catch my breath still uh that was quite a uh experience anyways it was a pretty good sized bobcat i think it's the same one that i got on trail cam i'll put some pictures up here in a minute so she had it bayed. She had it tree treed, I guess you could say. It was up in a tree about 10 foot. She was going crazy trying to climb the tree to get it. Sorry I didn't have the camera. Didn't pull out my phone or anything else to get video. I was just trying to hurry up and I seen all this blood. I got it all over me. I don't know. So she got a hold of it definitely before she got She definitely got a tree. hold of it. It didn't look like it was actually really bad hurt because it soon as soon as I grabbed her, it was gone. Like I was gonna shoot it out of the tree. <sighs> wow yeah let me tell you yeah let me catch my breath and i'll talk a little Holy more about cow. it daisy you got a breath too saver. she saved her herd from a bobcat you got a breath huh <sighs> is that why you've been getting out every day girl that has to be because it's been so like she has been out with a purpose right. like it's crazy yeah so like i said on these on the trail cam pictures this bobcat has been coming around uh two different days in the last week or so and both days it's been here, she's been going crazy at night. And it coincides with the time that she's been getting out of the fence. And uh, we live in a very wooded area here. So you can see uh, there's hills and there's little cave systems and this and that. So I'm sure it's got a den somewhere. It might have some babies. I don't know if it was a male or female. It was pretty good size. I'll let you guys judge from the pictures. The pictures on the trail cam is not the best. But it's what I got They're to know. They're kind of dark. Yeah, it is. A trail cam don't do very good. But... <clears throat> we do know that there was a bobcat here and now I've seen it firsthand and she she hates cats as well so that bobcat's been getting really close to the Spanish goat pen's fence and I know she can smell it and that's where she's been in this corner all the time every night she's been going crazy and uh I got the, got her, the fence fixed this morning where I know she's been getting out hopefully she don't get it out anymore I'm not going to keep her on a leash um I'm just going to let her roam free hopefully this bobcat if she heard it enough it hopefully it goes and dies um it's deer season right now too so i don't need her running out i got a bright orange collar on her but you know she's about the same color as a deer i don't want to take any chances of her getting and killed if, it, if, if she didn't hurt it bad enough to kill it then hopefully she scared it bad enough it's All not right. going to come back well sometimes they bite and i don't see any deep puncture wounds well yeah we're gonna have to wash her really good because we know. don't want that smell of blood on her either. Pretty much we? I'm looking for uh, puncture runes. I don't see. It She's got just... scratches on her nose. But that's pretty normal. You know. Yeah, from a they're cat. Not, they're, it's not like it didn't like rip her skin or nothing. She's lucky I don't she see didn't lose an marks. eyeball or anything. Right. Daisy, you're a good girl. My gosh, she saved oh, the day. Gosh. That's awesome. And there could have been more than one bobcat. I don't know. By the time I got there, one was treed. It had blood on it. I don't know how bad it was. Um, I seen the blood on her, and I immediately started freaking out. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and see what she does. You're free, girl. I'm going to go get her a treat. That's awesome. She just saved her whole herd. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys. We got Daisy a treat now. Hopefully, she'll stay around. Hopefully, she can't get out anymore. I found the spot where she had been getting out of the fence, like I said, and got it fixed. And hopefully that is why she was getting out because of the stupid bobcats. I'm sure there's more than one. We do have a lot of coyotes around here as well. And we have had our Great Pyrenees in the past that we had bear. He's actually killed some. Yeah, looky here. You're a good girl, aren't you? Are you glad to be home? Did you miss your goats? She's probably thirsty. 
Yeah, we were good getters. Whew. So what excitement for today. Wow. You've got blood all over you. Yeah, I know. And she's got blood all over her. Poor baby. What about the bobcat? Well, the bobcat, I hope she scared it enough. It won't come back. Right. That's for sure. Her's a life Her saver. goats are glad to see her. Yeah. You're gonna sleep in you're gonna sleep in your own bed tonight in the barn and not get out again. <sighs> it was really cold last night and we were worried sick. My gosh, we have been so worried about her. When I come home from lunch, she was all tangled on her chain because we have been having her tied up because she'd been getting out. Well, as soon as I unclipped it, she took off she running. She was gone. And I was and at work. Gone. I couldn't come home. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, you can see how important having these livestock guardian dogs is if you are a livestock owner. If you guys have goats, especially your sheep. They can't defend themselves and these guys, you know, just like a bobcat. Uh, bobcats are pretty mean. They're a lot bigger than what some people think. They got really sharp teeth and very sharp claws and uh, they can do some damage. Uh, thank God I don't see anything on her. I don't see anything, rather than just a few little scratches on her nose. And she's had her rabies shot. I yeah, don't she think, should be good. I don't think we need to take her to the vet or anything. I don't see any deep lacerations or mm. cuts. I think it's Usually mainly, I thought the bob, I thought the cats was like trying to grab them by the neck. I don't know. I think it's mainly from the bobcat. Thank God. I don't know. Well, she, she got something back here on her leg maybe. Yeah, she got some blood back here somewhere. Well, back it's lady. everywhere. But, yeah, I had treats in here. Yeah. You see oh, that one? There's a good girl. There's a lifesaver. They see the Pretty awesome. Um, I'm glad she's home. Hopefully, I don't want her to get out anymore, though. So, well, hopefully that bobcat won't come back. So, like I said, it is deer season. Um, legally, here in Oklahoma, you can't kill uh, bobcats or fur-bearing fur animals until December 1st. And you got to have a license so i'm going to go ahead and get one because if i see this thing i'm going to kill it or if i see it here even on our property like up here by the goats and stuff i'll probably kill it anyways because it's probably trying to get one of these little baby goats so uh yeah we don't want to wow. get one of our babies she just saved man i wish i would have grabbed the dang camera i know oh my god <laughs> i was just glad to hear her voice and then when i heard the weird noise i knew something was going on you're gonna on. have to start putting a uh, gopro on you all the time well, i didn't have time <laughs> I know. You're a good girl. Ugh. All right, guys. So we're going to end this video and get her cleaned up. I just wanted to share the experience that hurt. She is back. And uh, what she had up in the tree, that's pretty crazy. And, An uh, eventful day. It's always something on a farm. All right. Hopefully they don't come back with any friends. Oh, it's a pretty big not. bobcat. So, uh, so, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Click that thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye, baby. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yes.